Today we saw how the cleanup is going at the derailment site. Norfolk Southern says it's doing its best to keep the community safe as contaminated soil and water are removed. First News reporter Hannah Erdman shares more. Norfolk Southern, along with local officials and the EPA, are working together as a unified command. It really is a team effort um, with everyone approving what operations are going on at any given time. Narano tells me the unified command is finalizing a plan to excavate the track, currently sitting on contaminated soil. He could not specify when the excavation will start, but described the process once it begins. Uh, the excavation will take a couple days for the track, the first track, and they will remove that material and then go back and um, put tracks in and then start on the second track. About 4,000 tons of contaminated soil are still on site, waiting to be disposed of. Today, I learned more about the ongoing cleanup efforts on site. Norfolk Southern says they're doing what they can to ensure that this can be clean and that no contaminated material gets out without it being contained and properly disposed of. One thing they are doing is cleaning trucks Anything that comes into that derailment site is getting cleaned off to ensure safety is at the forefront. With rain in the forecast Friday, crews are preparing. Making sure that all the damming systems that we have are secure and armored so that they can withhold the rain and we don't lose anything from the site. Narano wants the public to trust the agencies involved to get the job done. We're trying to do this correctly. We're trying to do this uh, the right way. In East Palestine, Hannah Erdman, WKBN 27 First News.